So when you're oh. picking timber up out of the stack, yeah. if you've got a wall and it's got 10 studs in it, you can either set two bits of wood on the floor and put all your studs on and then turn them over backwards and forwards to make sure that they're flat because they do bow and they bend. Mm. And even CLS. Even CLS. Yeah, because what you find is naturally with timber, where you've got a knot, that sometimes as it dries and shrinks, it distorts the length going out towards the end. So what I've got here is I've got three metre lengths and I'm using a 2.4 stroke five stud. So, so I'm getting a noggin out of the end of these. Also, you can sort of look down and take the worst end off. So then when you've got your stud cut and you're going to put it in the wall, as you're coming through the wall, if you get the next stud, so this stud, for example, and before you put it in the wall, put it against the one before, here. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, if, and you can see then, yeah. if you put it against this way and you're rocking, <sighs> you're rocking like this, yeah, yeah. you know you don't want to put it in next to it that way. If you put it round this way, nice and flat, then even though you've got a bit of a bow top to bottom, yeah. it's well within construction tolerances, a couple of three mil or something like that. You know, even a, a skim will probably lose a bit of that. And that's what you do, you whack that one in there and you get your next one, offer it on that one, whack it in there and you're going to maintain a, a, a good straight wall. In a couple of weeks, you come back and you find, you put a straight edge on and you find, because these are all nice and true, you've got one that's bowed out. So you can straighten that up and it's a piece of cake. All you have to do is you get a handsaw, put a 45 degree cut halfway through on, on the direction. If you, if you want it to go back that way, yeah put a cut in and then drive a screw in and, and it will literally pull it straight. You can virtually cut all the way through and then put a screw in and what you're doing is effectively releasing that tension. It's, yeah. it's gone like that, like a biometallic yeah. strip. And by just cutting it and putting a screw through, it's just pulled it, just so, pulled it straight. So we're going to cut halfway through? Yeah, you, you, you can, I mean, you can, you can just, put a, just put a cut like that through yeah. and drive a screw back through here. Yeah. And that'll just well, crank it out. Cut, you, you, from that side to that side? Yeah, cut. yeah, just right. cut all the way okay. through. Just right. cut all the way through. And it'll just pop a screw, yeah. screw back through. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it on all of them because no, you might, no, no. You might start weakening yeah. the wall. You may remember from the piece we did at the tool fair, we had a chat with the guys on the Stabila stand and they had an array of levels that I've never seen before. Um, I'm a big fan of Stabila, I've always got one in my hand. And while I was there, I saw this. And I thought, I've got to get my hands on one of these. And so we did. And this is a telescopic level. It's 1830, so it's six foot long when it's closed. So it's great for door linings and that sort of stuff. But it extends out to 3,150 mil, which is brilliant because that's about the height of a tall story of a timber frame building, for example. That's a good, that's ten, nearly 10 feet. So basically what it's good for is, so I've set my sole plates out here. And when I set my new, my, my head plate out, for example, I can lock that off and make it reach wherever I am. So again, single-handedly, I can use this. Um, it's really accurate. It's, um, exceptionally strong, it's like, like double the thickness of the normal level. It comes with a couple of lugs and what the lugs do, they clip onto this top and bottom to these plates and when I put a brace across a stud wall this way, it enables me to get over that brace and still plumb the wall up. So this is a really good addition to our tool kit and that's the good thing about a tool fair. Because my merchants and my tool shops, they won't have this on the shelf. They want to sell key lines. They want to sell the four foot, the six foot, the eight foot and the two foot levels. I could talk about this level all day, but I've got to get some work done. For measuring my studs, I've got a disto, so a laser measuring device, really accurate. And this block of timber which says stud on it. Now what that is, what that represents is the distance from my circular saw to the edge of the fence. Now that's what that represents. So what I do, disto, measure my stud, so I whack that in there. I sit it on my block, measure my stud, 
Now, two, three, five, three. So this is where the magic happens. I've used my disto on my block. The block is the same as this distance here. So I measured a mark, so in this case it was two meters, 353. Put a simple pencil mark, and then I use hold this square on that mark there. And you've got a perfectly square cut, a nice square cut to take your noggin out of as well. And there's no, so what you're eliminating there, you're eliminating measuring it, trying to hold the tape, trying to hold the tape on the stud, and with CLS or any of this other regularised timber, it's rounded. And when you offer the tape up sometimes, anyone who's done a lot of this, you sometimes don't read the full length. Whereas this way with the disto, on the block, you're measuring exactly to the flat, gives you a really nice measurement, and they are so, so true. And if you want a stud that's tight, you can just make that block, which is that thickness, you can make that a little bit ah, right. less. So just or shave a bit off, yeah. yeah. But generally speaking, yeah, so um, but that's, that's a nice quick way of doing partitioning. Um, and what I generally do is mark, when I've got my marks on the sole plate, go along with my disc, go bang, 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 and mark them all out. Oh, do you? And, then you've got and I can see them from here, right, three, five, one, three, five, three, and then I'm just gonna stack them up and bang, bang them all in. Come and have a look at my little bits and pieces that I do on my own channel. Just search Robin Clevett on YouTube.